Okay, I got another quick tutorial for you guys. I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to get a full pan view at a wedding ceremony. So I was recently at a wedding and I was having a hard time even being far, far in the back getting a wide shot of the entire wedding party uh, and like the entire ceremony, I should say, and getting a good photo of it. And I was like, well, you know what? I'm like, Lightroom has introduced this photo merge thing a while ago and I don't really use it. So what if I just snap some pictures and try to put together a panorama later of the entire setup? And let me tell you, this thing works just ridiculous. It works amazing. I can't believe how well it does and how easy. So I'm going to show you guys how quick and how easy this is. Now, if this video helps you create these awesome wide ceremony shots of everything without getting a 16 to 35 and doing that, please hit that like button, that thumbs up, leave a comment on where you are. Okay, so let's get into this. I shot this with an 85 millimeter uh, F uh, 1.4 ISO 400, one over 6,400 for a shutter speed. And as you can see, I'm, I couldn't quite get the entire wedding party in and the entire shot. So I was trying to figure out what to do. And I was like, like I said, I, I just, I popped, I basically created a panorama, uh, handheld on the run with an 85. Uh, and I shot it at one four ISO 400 and I kind of just popped a shot. Now, what I did is, if you look, I tried to keep so I I tried to keep some overlap. I tried to keep someone in the center. So there she is. She's still here. Now we got our best man Mike here. Move to the next one. Mike is still in here. Move to the next one. Mike is still in here. So I I basically made enough room to keep that there. And I was like, this is the shot. Everybody's in focus on each one because I went, you know, I I focused on each section. So it should work out. And I just basically just sprayed and hoped that it worked. And when I got home, I could not believe how good it looked. So I'm going to show you. It is literally two buttons and you're good. So what you're going to do when you're in Lightroom Classic, you're going to hit the your first one. You're going to hold in your shift button and go to your last one in it. So what it's, what it's going to do is it's going to select all of them. Then all you're going to have to do is any one of them, just right click and hit photo merge and panorama so what it's going to do is it's going to open this panorama section uh, and it's going to be on spherical uh, it'll automatically be on spherical when you when you put it in spherical might work but what i want is a perspective shot because of where i was so as you can see this is already working now it's a little like wonky feeling so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to hit perspective now it took away that See that weird bubble on the sides here? Uh, cylindrical will do the same thing. Uh, perspective is going to make it flat. And just like that, I have a shot of everybody, the entire thing that's going on. Now, if I wanted to, I could have ran another row and went across the bottom, another row and went across the top. This still would have done it. So that's it. Um, auto crop, basically what it's going to do is it's going to crop out all this white junk around the edges. You could also fill the edges if you want. So if I hit fill edges, uh, it's basically going to fill in where that white auto crop was. So now what it did is it kind of kind of filled it in up here. Uh, I don't really want that because see how it kind of made this go a little wonky here. So I'm going to undo that and I'm just going to crop right there. So auto crop. Then all you have to do, hit merge. It's going to take like a minute or two to do it. It does take a little bit of time, especially if you're working with these photos that are 62 megapixels like I am. Uh, but in the end, it's really worth it. So it's already halfway done. Like I said, if this video helps you, please hit that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing. Uh, I, I do videos all the time like this and both product reviews, uh, tips, tricks, tutorials, uh, as well as my TikTok and my Instagram too. So go follow those. I'll leave the links down in the description down below. Uh, if, and like I said, if, if this helps, hit that thumbs up button. So let's give it a, just a minute. Uh, I'll come back when it's done and I'll kind of walk you through the end of it. Okay, so it took about a minute total to get it done. And if you see, so this is our, this is our shot that I tried just taking one photo with uh, before I tried the panorama uh, and... 
this is going to be your panoramic shot. So now you have everybody in. It gives you a full perspective. And you can look at this, and it is pretty darn good. I mean, you have everybody in focus all the way across because it's cropping multiple pictures. There is not a single seam that I can see. If you guys can see a seam anywhere, let me know. But when I look at this, I can't see a single mess up anywhere in this shot. So this is a great way to get your uh, panoramic shot without needing to buy an expensive 35 or a 16 to 35 or anything really wide like that. You can get a wide venue shot. Now, this would work the same if I was down in the back of the row here and shooting this wide down there so or shooting this a panorama from there. So just think about that. When next time you're shooting a wedding and you're in the back and you wish you could get that entire venue shot with all the wedding party, think about snapping some of these panoramic photos and try the photo merge. I mean, as you can see, it works incredible and I didn't have to do anything. So like I said, it's that simple. It's not really hard at all. It's just making sure you stand in the right spot, stand in the same spot when you take your photos. Try not to move your body that much, just the camera. That'll make it a lot easier for photo or Lightroom to do its thing. But other than that, yeah, create these panoramas. You could do this anywhere. You could do it of the Golden Gate Bridge. You could do it of the Grand Canyon. You could do anything like that. Photo merge, super easy, super fun, super sneaky, tricky way to get a panorama without needing anything crazy. I'm going to get out of here. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.